A race against time earlier this week, a little boy is saved from a burning home in West Dallas. Well, tonight we're hearing from the police officer and firefighters who bravely jumped in to help. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne shares their story. This is the moment when Noel Guy feared the worst. Get up there, get up there, officer. get up there. Guy's three-year-old son, MJ, was pulled from their burning trailer early Sunday morning. I was bawling my eyes out watching it happen, because knowing that I was there when it all was happening, and then seeing the footage of them pulling my kid out, it broke me. Guy describes the West Dallas police officers and firefighters who saved them in one word, heroes. And they were just screaming that there, there was a child in the home, and the porch is on fire. West Dallas Police Corporal Ryan Schultz was the first on scene. Hey, Kate, are you in here? Hello? There was a lot of smoke in there and it was dark. No one could see MJ. Officer Jordan Cooper tried to get in through the window. When I was screaming for him, uh, eventually he heard me scream MJ because I saw him through the smoke. Lieutenant Daniel Rohde with the West Dallas Fire Department goes in. I, I could hear him and I could barely see him through the haze of smoke. I was able to locate him. Uh, we could see fire in the hall, or I could see fire in the hallway. He's trained for situations like this, but in his 13 years with the department, this was his first fire rescue. Being able to hear him crying, knowing that he's breathing, was a huge relief. Even more so for MJ's mom. She says the boy is getting better each day. Which is knowing that he's, he's awake and he's um, breathing on his own. It's just it's great to hear. There's hope the whole family will be able to meet these men again to say thank you. Words Guy says just aren't enough. I do want to meet them and just say thank you for everything. Getting there in a quickly manner, getting, making sure all of us were safe. In West Dallas, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Guy's mother, Kim, was also in the home. She's still in a coma. The family lost everything in this fire. We have a link to their GoFundMe on fox6now.com. The fire department says an electric issue on the porch caused all of this.